Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the Don Joe. This is their part number EL-104630, Satin Stainless Steel Extended Lip Strike Plate is what this is. Um, this is fairly unusual in the world of strike plates, uh, but it might be exactly what you need to solve your problem. Let's start with uh, the dimensional properties. This is what's called a full lip strike. Uh, full lip. Full lip strikes, they're almost always two and a quarter. Um, they're, they're never anything else, but uh, Don Joe does make a two and three quarter inch version of full lip strikes. But a full lip strike is two and a quarter in almost all instances. We also call it a D strike. If this large strike was substantially smaller, maybe about here, you could see why we might call it a D strike. This happens to be a four inch strike. You can see the overall width is about four and just shy and a half. Well, strikes are actually measured from the center of the screw hole to the edge of the lip. That's what makes this a four inch strike. Okay. Since we are measuring things, I think they would have the thickness of this item at, well, they call it 18 gauge, which I think is, you know, about 50 thousandths of an inch. With the material, with the peel away film that's on here, it measures 50 thousandths, so it's going to be ever so slightly less than that. And speaking of that peel away film that's here, okay, shows the brushed, finished satin stainless steel. This is made of solid stainless meaning it's just simply made of stainless steel. Okay. And uh, where are you going to use this? Uh, and before we get to that, it does include a couple of screws. Uh, pardon me, four screws is what you'll need for this. And uh, obviously it's so wide that you'll have four screws. It does have this tang that's back here, and that's a nice feature of strikes when you have the deadlocking when you, forgive me, when you have a latch bolt that sits inside of the hole of the strike, that su substantially increases the surface area, making the pulling of that latch bolt out a smoother endeavor, uh, rather than it being just a blunt cut end where there's less surface area that that strike has to pull out against. It makes it, uh, it reduces the friction coefficient, allowing it to simply operate. Uh, more effectively as a strike. Now, where are you going to use this? Let's talk about that right now. If you are enjoying this video, please click thumbs up or like, and also please consider subscribing to our channel. Let's move on to the rest of the video. Now, you certainly won't be using this strike just because you want to. Uh, an extended lip strike is going to be used in scenarios where you have, um, generally, you're going to have a standard door and frame but a wall treatment has been done to the installation, to the wall, the area surrounding the door frame, where now when your door comes to close, your latch bolt is making quite premature contact with, you know, the drive it, the stucco, the woodwork, the masonry, the wood trim, whatever's been put there, and that you need to get that lip out further so that the latch bolt hits the lip of the strike and then comes to a closed position. So some alteration of what you already of an otherwise standard installation. And I'll demonstrate or illustrate that in a moment. Number two, you can have a very deep inset, meaning if you stand on the pull side of the door, the door is generally flush with the frame. And if it's not flush, it's a very slight amount moved in, like 332nd of an inch. Well, that inset can, can, can technically be anything. It can be three inch. Uh, you know, in, in that sort of scenario, you need a, a lot bigger strike than this. You know, if it was two and a half, you're probably going to need about a four inch strike. So that door can be moved in. Now, where would you have a deep inset? Well, generally, you'll see it in, in a situation where you have a pre-hung unit, residential application. They sent out standard four and 13 16 jams. It, the pre-hung gets to the job and it they quickly realize our walls are six inch thick. What do you want to do about this? So they'll add jam extensions. That jam extension is just a piece of trim, really. Um, and that latch bolt's going to hit prematurely. That also, by the way, causes a problem with hinges. You'd probably need to look at a raised barrel hinge or a double mortise hinge uh, sort of solution. Um, so a deep inset is really where you'll have that. Um, because 
something's wrong. Or you could have a deep inset because you've got an application where you've got a 12 inch thick wall and you've got those doors centered right in the depth of the 12 inch wood frame. Now you won't see that really in new construction because it does hyper complicate how everything's going to move. The hinge will need to be either a raised barrel or a double mortise or a wide throw. But if you have a building that was built in, you know, antebellum time, um, there's no structural steel. Uh, you know, you've got walls that are really, really thick. A three-story building, it's holding, you know, countless tons. So that wall thickness on the first floor is really, really thick. So homes that are 19th century construction, you're going to see that um, sort of scenario. You will see it, uh, is the bottom line. Stay in a historical bed and breakfast. Uh, go to old Capitol buildings. Um, you know, you're going to see really uh, premium examples of, you know, of the of construction of, of residential and commercial buildings in the 1800s. So those are the scenarios where you're going to bump into it. Let's switch to the screen view and let's illustrate those and look at the uh, extended description information. If you are enjoying this video, please click thumbs up or like, and also please consider subscribing to our channel. Let's move on to the rest of the video. Here is the item that we are looking at. Let's take a look at some images that we have posted down below here. Okay, there's your strike in the packaging, the strike outside with the screws, the strike itself, and then that peeled away protective film showing the stainless, the brushed finish. By the way, this is going to be stainless steel, uh, by the way, is considered the most durable of all finishes. It's what's called a natural finish. All they've done is taken the base material and they've brushed it. That's all that's been done. There is no more um, durable finish than what we're looking at here. Because it's stainless, that could technically be polished, but Don Joe, in, as far as I understand, would not offer this in a polished stainless. Not that they couldn't offer it, so if you're looking for that, reach out. We'll find out if we can have that accommodated. The back side of the strike showing that uh, latch tang, side view of the strike, and then your screw package. Okay. Now, extended description information is here. Extended lip strike, 18 gauge. They say two and a quarter by four. That's showing you exactly what that looks like. Sold as each. 630, that is the BHMA code for satin stainless steel. Uh, stainless steel with a brushed finish. And when they're sold as each, when you buy one, we'll ship you one. Here's a link to the template that's here. Now this will be a drawing that just gives you all of the dimensional properties beyond what we've already provided. Also refers to other finishes. 605 is polished brass. 609 is satin, uh, pardon me, is antique brass. 619 is satin nickel. 620 is antique nickel. Those four finishes will be on a brass base material. 630 is satin stainless, and then DU would be a dark bronze powder coat over a stainless steel base material. Okay, now where would you use this in particular? Let's just illustrate those uh, situations. You have a frame, you've got a door, okay, you've got your latch. Turns out though, that the wall is this thick. Okay, they've got casing that's been added in here. That's no problem. Well, now they're going to add a jam extension to get you out to here. That could be a scenario by which you might use an extended lip strike. Okay, where you've got this jam extension. Okay. Now you'll also note that the inset here, from the face of the frame to the face of the door. It looks like it's scribbled in there like it's inset. Sure, it could be 3 32nd of an inch, less than an eighth of an inch. It'll be quite small, or it's flush. Okay, well, what if we had an installation like this? Okay, and this dimension is 18 inch. Now, this strike won't work but we're illustrating the concept where you're going to need a long strike plate in here. Okay, That's that antebellum construction that you'll see. It, 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 they're definitely out there. You could also have a stainless 
standard installation, we'll just reuse the same scenario. Actually, it's not actually. You could have a hollow metal frame. Not that this would be the right strike for this, but the concept applies. Okay, you've got your latch bolt, everything is good. Well, then they bring all of this drive it out here. You know, what's all this stucco, all this trim, you know, some sort of masonry work. You know, when, you know, what was happening was, here's the wall. Let's say that we have, you know, eight inch CMU, which is actually seven and five eighths, five and three quarter depth frame. Well, now they've added all this wall treatment here. Okay. Same thing as adding the jam extensions, really. You're going to need a longer lip strike for in here, is the bottom line. That'll be a scenario where you're going to see this as well. Now, there's a link below this video here to the product catalog. Let's click on that, and then let's do a Control F or Find function on your keyboard for EL104. And you're going to find exactly where it's located. The table of all of the other sizes as well. Inch and a half, two inch, uh, two and a half inch. Pardon me, inch and a half, inch and three quarter, two inch, two and a half inch, three inch, four inch. These 91 uh, numbers uh, actually, what we're showing you here is a 9104. Because the 9104 is in a poly bag. So our client ordered an EL-104, which means that it would be in carded packaging, appropriate for display. Um, the manufacturer should not have made that sort of um, unapproved substitution, quite frankly. It's the same hardware, but the packaging is different. Now, it's not going to be a problem going to this client, because this client is literally going to tear it out of the packaging and install it. But if you were selling it to a hardware store or a lock shop, they're going to want display packaging. So in that scenario, checking to see who the client is to make sure that they don't require display packaging is the next step. But I just realized it right now that we were talking about the 9104 all this time. Everything else applies, so we'll just let it roll. Um, in the product catalog, when you start from the beginning, <clears throat> you can scroll through and see all things strike related, strike plates from Don Joe. Now here's that two and three quarter tall full lip strike. Very unusual. Two and three quarter strikes are, are either T-strikes or they are deadbolt strikes. And a T-strike is here, very common strikes, but then deadbolt strikes are also two and three quarter. And I don't know if they have a standard deadbolt strike listed here. <clears throat> um, they don't. If I see one, I'll point it out. Oh, no, here it is. This DS234, that's a standard deadbolt strike, two and three quarter tall. So two and three quarter tall strikes are either T-strikes or they're deadbolt strikes. They're not full lip strikes, but Don Joe makes them. Now, why would you want that? Well, very occasionally, you'll have a customer who has a deadbolt, but he wants to add a slam latch, okay? And what they'll do is they'll buy this two and three quarter tall strike and then they'll alter their frame and get the lip length that they need. Now, you would really just need a standard, likely inch and a quarter lip length uh, these are all extended lip, but the point of the matter is that's where you would end up using that. Okay, you'd probably use the TS two three four, which is basically a T strike, full lip strike or D strike. Same thing with radius corners. Now you can all, speaking of radius corners, you can also order all of these strikes with radius corners, and they'll have a prefix R. Well, actually, it's a suffix. They have a suffix R C. So you could do a 9104-RC and it would give you a quarter inch radius corner. People with wood frames, wood doors and wood frames, they'll see those rounded corners and they'll be focused on getting only that. Not realizing you could buy the square corner and, and simply corner out the, square out the, the uh, corners on that preparation. Well, people don't want to uh, do that, nor necessarily would I if I didn't have to. Um, and there you go. That hollow metal frame example we gave earlier, this would be a great choice for that. Four and seven eighths tall. Extended lip T strikes, two and three quarter tall. A different variant on the four and seven eighths strike where that cutout is one large prep rather than just one small prep. So if you had a lock, uh, a mortise lock with a deadbolt, you'd probably use this strike. Or if you had a door 
and a frame that did not have the correct location for the strike and the mortise lock, and you were within maybe about an inch at the most, I'd have to think about it, um, this, this would possibly work, or more than an inch if it was a non-deadbolt function. So we'll use a strike like this just because we've got a, um, I'd have to pull up a, a, a chart, but if you had a Seco, which is a Seco, which I think is going to be 42 and 1 16th, and you had a steel craft, which is 43 and 9 16 that inch and a half relocation might be accommodated within this strike. Thimble strikes, fun fact about thimble strikes, they're not fire rated. I've never seen one that is. If you're drilling a, uh, in, adding a deadbolt to a steel frame, or a wood frame for that matter, and just want to drill a one inch hole, thimble strike is what you'd use. Security strikes are here for wood frames, single hole, double hole, 8 inch tall, 12 inch tall, 18 inch tall, different center to center preparations on this material, different finishes, different door thicknesses are available. Security strikes, this BX2 SDS, we've sold bushel loads of these. It's a heavy duty strike version for your deadbolt. Double lip strikes, you're not going to bump into these unless you are someone who does a lot of work in hospitals. Patient room doors will have these double lip strikes because uh, it's what's called rescue hardware, in fact. Uh, adjustable strikes, if you needed to tailor where the center line of that was because you had a, uh, a, do a door that was warped or misaligned, things of that nature, a custom strike order form is here. They will happily entertain requests for custom strikes. Um, I have found them to be, on small quantities, it's quite expensive because of the setup time to create the programming code for the machine to be able to punch, shear and punch all of this equipment. So if you need a couple of hundred custom strikes, that's not going to be an issue. But if you needed one or two, those are going to be, those are going to be costly, um, is the bottom line. And you can buy a blank and maybe just prep your own hole, uh, etc. Now below this video here is a link to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up not only all of the Donjo products that we sell, but also a link, pardon me, all of the Donjo products we sell by means of this horizontal navigation but also a link to the manufacturer's website, as well as a link to the full product catalog, but the full product catalog broken down into all of its subsections. And if you know the name Donjo at all, you will for their latch protectors or their wraparound plates. And now obviously their strike plates. Let's wrap up this video on camera. If you are enjoying this video, please click thumbs up or like, and also please consider subscribing to our channel. Let's move on to the rest of the video. In conclusion, extended lip strikes are fairly common items. Four inch are not very uh, very common at all, like I had said earlier. Good quality company, Don Joe. They have a relatively petite footprint within the industry. Um, relatively petite. They focus on what they do and they do a really good job with it. When you call there, you talk to one or two or three people. They can always answer your question, you know, what's the lead time, how much, where's my stuff, how long, things of that nature. These are people who understand their business and their industry, and they've been around for several decades. If you have any questions on the Don Joe, which is actually the 9104 Strike, or any other Don Joe product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you. Again, thank you for watching, and if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up. Please subscribe and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.